Just when the world's economies were chugging along, based on global supply chains that delivered products to factory stores and supermarkets, along came the global pandemic. The just-in-time manufacturing and delivery of a myriad of components and products was thrown out of sync. Many of the items factories and consumers had come to count on to be delivered just in time were just not available. Many shelves were empty. Maybe it was irresponsible to build a production system based on almost no inventory. Perhaps we could afford that when times were good and the world was safe, but now it seems naive. Well, this is based on a misunderstanding of what just-in-time really means. It's not about just reducing inventory. And far from being the creation of arrogant Westerners who thought the world was always safe, it was the invention of a poor and desperate country with few resources. Just-in-time was invented in Japan after the Second World War. After its defeat, Japan had little capital and could not afford to let any resources go to waste. Toyota even built trucks with only one headlight to save resources. How would they ever be able to produce and compete on a world stage? An engineer at Toyota named Taichi Ono found the answer on a trip to the US. But not in America's impressive car plants that ran assembly lines at full speed and when mistakes were made, cars were repaired afterwards. The American car companies had lots of inventory. They could deal with any problem. Japan just couldn't afford that kind of waste. Instead, Ono got his idea at a modern American supermarket. He noticed how consumers picked supplies and shelves were instantly replenished and reordered according to demand. It made him think about how to integrate workers and suppliers in the production process at Toyota. In the 1950s, Toyota began to implement Ono's ideas. They did cut down on inventory, but that was an effect of real-time demand signals to suppliers and flexible manufacturing. Toyota installed a cord which any worker could pull to stop the assembly line if he noticed a problem. And then the team worked then and there to prevent it from happening again. Manufacturing at Toyota became a learning process by which the company could improve incrementally. By the 1970s, Toyota could build two cars faster than it took any of the American companies to build one. Some Western companies thought that the success came just from reducing inventory without understanding what made the reduction possible, and this left them vulnerable. Many others, however, learned the lesson, sometimes under the name lean production. They began to involve the workforce more directly and facilitated information sharing, and they made large savings, so large that once again they could begin to compete. Hey, check out these other great videos from Free to Choose Network. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get updated on episodes of New and Improved with me, Johan Norberg.